It says, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Look yeah, because this is a race. But it's not a race for the swift. It's a marathon. It's, it's You have to en endure and continue to run until you hit the finish line. Run that you so run that you may obtain. Uh, who was that? Uh, no, this is not a race where you run it and then you look back while you're sprinting because you yeah. might trip and fall and bust your your so face. I got analogy from somebody that said I think it might have been with David Goggins or somebody that was training with him like a uh -huh. Navy Seal or yeah. somebody. Yeah. And he goes, all right, all right, so okay, we about to run. How far are we running? We gonna run till we see the pool house. Oh, okay, <laughs> and on the beach. Said, man, about an hour, man. I ain't seen the blue house yet, man. I said, don't worry about seeing it. Just keep running. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. You're not the. It, it, it's, a, it's a thing that you'll never. You're not gonna see it until you get comfortable. When you get comfortable with the running, you start realizing what the running is doing for you. Before you know that, the blue house was You know. You know, like when you run it and you feel like, damn, I'm about to give out. Wait. The more you keep looking at the time, the more you're gonna want to like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna stop. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a mental thing. Yeah. Yeah. Back to it. If you just running and you ain't even thinking nothing of it, you ain't letting nothing get to you. You just you just doing. You don't give a damn if your your, your ankles are starting to hurt now, your knees or whatever. Burn. But as long as your mind ain't painted on mine, you could keep. You, you're just gonna keep doing. It. Tell you, that, that same guy David Goggins like said when he first started, he, was heavy. he ran, he ended up breaking his ankles. He kept running. Mm. He kept running. Got back out the next day, taped his ankles up, and kept running. Jeez. So, so Who was that? David, David Goggins. David Goggins. Yeah, I ain't yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said he broke his shit. Yeah. He kept running. I also tested myself one time, like in the gym. Yeah. Um, I was doing reps and like normally you count how many reps you're doing. Like yeah. you'll do a rep and you got reps. One, hey, bro, two, three, three, four. And, and and when I can't go anymore, I'll I'll calculate in my mind, okay, this is how many I'm able to do. And then the next time I did it, I didn't I didn't I didn't count it at all. I didn't give no count. I just did it. Just boom, 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 boom. Boom, and I'm not thinking about how many I'm doing. I'm just boom, just putting them yeah. up. Boom. Yeah. And, 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 and I can still feel the pressure building yeah. up, but I'm still going because I'm not thinking about, okay, once I reach this this number, yeah. I, I can stop now. God, no, yeah, exactly. It's a failure. The, the, you put a time on it, you're going to stop. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, like you said, a limit. To, to you setting a, you set the limit. Like you gotta. And guess what? You don't get gains when you right. when you when you do that either. Exactly. If it's just every single time is the exact same number of reps, yeah. you're not gonna you're not There's gonna no see increase. no no progress. There's no increase. Come. Because one thing you gotta do, especially like speaking of that, that physical push limit, right? Yeah. You almost gotta gotta lie to yourself. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you put in an extra 45 plate on both sides, you got to like tell yourself uh, if you think you can only do 10, you got to like, nah, I'm, I'm about to do 20 of these shits. Like, and then you end up doing 10 of them. You hit your limit. But it's like, you got to tell yourself like, this, this, yeah. this ain't shit, man. Like yeah. this, this, this is nothing. Yeah. You know, you yeah. got to, you kind of got to be like, I don't want to say delusional, <laughs> but you got to be crazy. Yeah. You got, but what we're doing, it, it is crazy to the world. You know, but it's, this is sane to us. It's also stoic. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, it's the same as stoic. Man. Okay, the chaos. You're creating the chaos that you'll be able yeah. to endure the yeah. chaos later. But, yeah. but the best warriors are the crazy ones anyway. You yeah. want yeah. the most craziest yeah. ones. Yeah. Uh, uh, dear presidents. Yeah. Cleon. What do you get? Cleon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let me go back to, uh, to the, the weightlifting analogy. You yeah. Great, great analogy. It's literally, literally physical. Schwarzenegger said, uh, Schwarzenegger, right? You know this guy, Mr. Olympian, X amount of time. He said, uh, "All right, so let's do push-ups." He goes, "How many push-ups do you do?" He said, "I don't count my push-ups." Well, I do. He goes, "But well, first, I push up to a failure, and then I start counting." Yeah. Wow. 
<laughs> and then I start, till I can't do another one, and then I start counting. Because yeah. you're thinking, oh, I could do 500 push-ups. Go to failure, you might be a thousand. Who knows where your failure number is? That might be 15. But after you can't do another one, that's when you start counting. Yeah, Those are the reps that really matter. Yeah, when you're shaking. Yeah, that's it, man. That's what you're feeling. Snot and running and slobber. Bro, bro, that's yeah. Those are the real battle tests. Bro, a, a Jake cut me in the gym. Right, cause hey, they got the 45, 25, they got 35s, yep. then they got uh, 10s and fives. Yep. I ended up putting like a 10 and a five on. He was like, "What the fuck you putting that on for? Just put a 25." Right. I was like, "Damn, like he is right. Like yeah. if I could do 15, you could do 10 more pounds too. Yeah. You know, you could do 25, 50 more pounds on that. It's yeah, like you do it, man. Do as many, exactly. But you can just do this. But that's gonna be more beneficial for you as well, though, because yeah. you you're, you're pulling that muscle and stretching it and breaking it. Yep. You know, uh, at a heart, at a um, heavier rate, so to speak. Right. We're talking work. All this set is excellent workout stuff. We're just using an analogy, but, but just like just Paul did. Yep. Yep. Paul was using the, 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 the Olympics and boxing and all that racing. Physical, racing. Uh, who said that physical uh, about physical might? What the, what the uh, exercise? That's probably what I'm thinking. But they were saying it's, it's not kingdom comes not by physical might or by a sword. Or oh, yeah. No, not by my. Sword. I know you're talking about, but by um, I know exactly. Well, basically, it's, it's just telling you it's not gonna be. It's, that sound like mm. like it. But basically, y'all know the point. It's right. Not, we're not, it's not gonna be. We're not gonna be. Uh, because just, you're in I shape mean, doesn't mean you're gonna get into yeah, King right, Kong. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's about but, but, but it's the spirit a, being in exactly. shape. It's, the it's about building up your mind. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, the kingdom of the Most High coming, not by observation. Yeah, not that yeah, one. I think it might have more than that. Uh, let me see. It's Luke 17 and 20. Uh, and he, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of the Most High should come, he answered them and said, "The kingdom of." The most high cometh not by observation. That's not it. That's not it. Uh, it was one about physical or sword or something like it was something physical was talking about. But th this is part of the point. We all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And the point can be can be understood. But there's a scripture that goes to that. And it'll probably be months or we might be in Jacob's trouble. I remember, I remember this. You know, who knows when we'll come back. Let's uh, finish uh, Hebrews 12 and then we can uh, Read down, read down to uh, 12. This is our verse Actually, uh, read the first, um, read the first three, no, read the first four, and then I want you to jump down to, uh, shit. No, let's read down. Let's read down. <laughs> read down to uh, 11, I mean 12. This is verse two, Hebrews 12 and two. Looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. For consider nah, him that endured such nah. contradiction. Bro, he went through all that, and then he finally was able to go and sit on the throne. The highest honor that you can get sitting right on the right side of the Heavenly Father. Man. But what he had to go through to get to that point, that was what it was about. He had to endure, you know? He had to endure that so that we can use his example. You know? Because we understand that if we endure and, and, and go through our suffering, we're gonna we're gonna get the we're gonna get that same honor. We're gonna be crowned. We're gonna rule over the nations. You know, we're gonna be able to judge angels. Our people are gonna you know uh, 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 reverence us. Yeah. We're gonna get fame in, in, in a place where we're gonna put the shame. All this. But right now. It's about going going through the fire for the Lord. Alright? Yeah, so that we don't get the second death fire. Right. Looking, right, it says, For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself. Lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. Lest you be weak 
you know, you, you start to get weak in your mind. Like, I can't deal with all this opposition. Certain dudes, they get weak like that. You know? I'm getting too much uh, opposition in my own family. I gotta deal with <laughs> these niggas in the world. I gotta deal with this. I gotta deal with that. Man. Man, well, just, just man up, bro. Yeah, when it says consider him, just think upon it. You know? Yeah. The scripture's written the four times, written far larger. So think upon those different accounts of those men that endured those those hardships. And yeah. it was rewarded in the end. And, 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 the, and the Lord did that. So y'all asking me. The Lord didn't have that mentality. Imagine if the Lord had that same uh, You know? Yeah, we all be through. We'd be done. It says, ye have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Mm. And ye have forgotten the exhortation that speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, yep. and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, if ye endure chastening. Like, like he did Job. Yeah. 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 That was an example of that. You had the, the, the Maccabees brothers. They went through the, the you know, the scourge. You know? You got all kind of examples in the scriptures. Daniel. The list of them in Hebrews 11. Yeah. Three holy children, etc. Go ahead. And it, and it says, you know, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he yeah. delivereth them out of the world. Exactly. His courage is our enemy ten times more. Yeah. If he endured chastity, how would dealeth with you as with sons? For, for what son is he whom the Lord, whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards, not sons. Furthermore, we have nigga, had. You know, I gotta say, the nigga that don't get chastised is the one that had the most trouble later in life. Yep. He don't have that figure to, to, to keep him on track. He's the one that usually later in life has more trouble. And he's usually weak too. Yeah. He doesn't know how to, you know, take certain situations happening. He take no coming criticism. certain things coming at him. He don't know how to deal with it. Right. Because he ain't went through the, the discipline. I got members of my family that grew up without being, you know, chastised, disciplined. And, you know, they turned out, they turned out bad, man. Horrible. I will say this last thing. It is, it's not as important uh, where you get it, but that you. Yep. Some of us got it from coaches. Some of us got it from our fathers. Some of us got it from our uncles, grandfathers. But it's that you get. Some of it, some of us only getting it now from the apostles or the or the, or the elders of the camp. a lot of brothers that they admitted that they didn't really receive that until they came up under the apostles. And like literally, like certain brothers that became men when they learned when they learned under apostles. Yeah. No. And that's what it takes, man. You better receive discipline from somewhere. That you get. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much, much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and men? For, for they barely for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure. But he, for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grief. Man, hey, shit hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you groan, you, you know, your, your spirit groan sometimes. You be vexed in the spirit. You be like, man, like, I can't wait. You're like, what? You know? Scripture say, uh, hope deferred make up the heart sick. We be, we be hoping at certain days, like, sometimes your spirit might be down. But we're not to, you know, don't, don't let the heaviness like overtake you. Overtake you. you. Yeah. you know? Just deal with it. Build yourself back up, man. Yeah, it, it comes, bro. Sometimes you sit there, you yeah. be like, I'm about to fall into depression. I'm fucking yeah, unhappy. Yeah, hey, and this we is all in this slow. captivity, man. And you start to think. That's what that comfort's there for. Yeah. Comfort is my things to come. Comfort that the way you the reason you feel this way is because you want to do righteous yeah. and the end you can see the like I wish I could just run faster but but you can see the end you, I can see the goal line or the, or the, or the finish line you 
want to run faster, but it don't stop running. Right. Um, a lot of our people who don't have this, they fall into depression and often so they usually crash out. Yeah. 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 They crash out. It says, now no chastity, oh, it's like it. it says, nevertheless, afterward, it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Now you got muscles, you talk about blood, 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 blood. all that pain you go through, now you got muscles. Hey, I, I was there for the first time I see the apostle, I was watching it, was like, how are we supposed to get all this? We did feel like, like the missile was coming tomorrow, <laughs> like it was going to come before the next camp. Little did we know. And now I'm more, as you see the peaceable fruit start to be yielded upon you, that you start mm -hmm. to sprout fruit of, of wisdom. Yeah. In certain situations you're learning from, small hiccups and stubbing your toe and shit, it don't happen. Even though you're, you're in darkness, you know what the layout is like mm -hmm. because you understand what, what's going on spiritually. After that, uh, that chastisement is broke. Yep. So when you, when you uh, uh, turn it off, uh, brothers pray for a particular thing, you know, yep. faith. Endurance, patience, whatever it is, you go through those different things that you know, require you to exercise those things. But in the end, after you endure whatever the test is, you grow in those areas. Continuing on, it says, "Wherefore lift up thy, lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees." That's the, that's the point. Strengthen the, the, the feeble knees. You know. Whatever is uh, 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 going back to the analogy of exercising, you might notice that there is a part of your body that's kind of weak. You can work on that body and build the strength in that part of your body. You, know? you got certain men that'll be in there and they be big as fuck up here, bro. swole, little legs, but they got little nigga legs. They look like me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, see, you know, you see people in the gym, they be. Stopped. But you know, you know, yeah, but, but, you, but you know shit, why? But they fucking floors. Because <laughs> it's easy to do curls. It's easy to do bench. Legs is fucking hard. Yeah, yeah. Like and, 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 the, and the, to to even start to build up your legs, squats, deadlifts. Yeah. That's in the toll it takes on you afterwards. Yeah, is what. So you still gotta exactly. walk out the gym. Right, that part. And you see that. I feel more sores yeah. in my in my legs. Yeah. It's like the, the sore lasts longer in my legs than in my upper body. Yeah. But the benefits. But, but, but it's strong. But I yeah. feel fucking strong as shit. Yeah. You 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 could you could like I can I can uh, uh, leg press or leg curl more than I can actually lift. Mm -hmm. Hey, we saw we saw Deontay yes. Wilder. Man. Yeah. Deontay Wilder, <laughs> strong as fuck. Up top, but his little ass legs, man. <laughs> Guess what? Gas in the fuck out. Yeah. He said he didn't run. No. Nope. That nigga said he swam or something like that. But still, your 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 power comes from your legs. It's your it's your it's your uh your uh foundation. Exactly. You know. Also, it's off the smell. Y'all touch that story. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I like the sword. I'll be feeling sometimes like that. I can't wait to get back to it. The tie of brass and hell. I'll be sometimes I'll be feeling like this. Hell yes, that image is. Like the superhero. Yeah, man. But no, like the scriptures is telling you to, you know, use Yahweh Shai's example to build yourself up. And a lot of it's gonna come from certain times that you're gonna suffer. Building up the, 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 your, your mind strength, you know, in the spirit, right? So you can endure, you know, through that that chastity, endure through the, the, the trial, that, that that furnace of affliction. But once we get past it, and hey, you you now you a final, uh, you're, you're the final product, polished, and you shine it, all right? So, like with that, we're going to give all praise, glory, and honor. See the power. Allah Shem Yahweh Shah. Allah Shem Yahweh Shah. Then to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.